Hi, this is Stacy with Lily Bean Crafts by Stacy. Welcome back, and if it's your first time, thanks for stopping by. So I'm finishing up my teacher gifts with a couple of staplers that are gonna look like pencils. And I got these staplers from Amazon Basics, and I'll link that in the description. And I'm just kind of showing you here how I take it apart. And then I'm going to take the actual part of the stapler and that spring that's at the top, and I'm gonna put it back in the bag so that I don't lose it. And then I'm gonna take some 220 grit sandpaper and just lightly sand over this, just giving myself a nice base to work with while I start working with my UV resin and my glitter. So I'm gonna take this and then I'll go ahead and I'll rinse it off. And then I'm gonna take some painter's tape and I just guesstimate where I want the pencil parts to be just by hand. And I'm just gonna take some painter's tape here and tape off at the front of the stapler and at the back and then I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to spray paint it with yellow paint. And in the beginning, I'm gonna be working with UV resin. It's just the easiest way that I've noticed to put um, the glitter on here. So um, it, I don't have any finger cuts, so I just take one of my gloves and I just cut all the fingertips off of it. I'm gonna use it because I'm going to be adding a lot of steps here and this is pretty quick. So like I said, I'm just using the UV resin that I get from Amazon and I'm putting that on there. And then I'm gonna take St. Jude from Peachy Olive Glitters and just put that all over it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tap off any glitters that I don't need. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my UV lamp and um, let it dry for one minute. And then we will move on to the next step. So I'm just gonna go ahead and seal this right away. So I'm just gonna go right back over it with some more of my UV resin. Um, make sure that I get that all coated. It's going to be a little bit rough, but that's okay because there will be more steps. This is all about sealing these glitters in. So I put this under my UV lamp for one minute with it just on the top of it. And then I just kind of turn them to the side and I do a minute on each side. So it's a total of three minutes for each of the glitter colors. I'm going to go ahead and remove the painter's tape from both sides and start working on the next glitter colors that are going to be on here. Um, I did, when I spray painted it yellow, I did spray paint the tips of it on the back end white. That's where it's going to have the silver and then the, the neon hot pink for the eraser. I always like to use a white base with that. Now that the glitter is dry or the UV resin is dry, I'm going to go ahead and just, like I said, I'm guesstimating on everything where I want the um, champagne color for the pencil tip and then where the silver is going to be for the eraser. And then I'll go ahead and get both of those glitter colors UV resin on there. And first I'm gonna go in with the silver that's gonna be part of the eraser. Um, I'm going in with Magnum 357 from Peachy Olive Glitters. I'll go ahead and get that on both pieces. I'm not going to dry them yet under the UV lamp. I'm gonna also go in and put it on the other end where it's going to be the champagne color of where the pencil tip is gonna be. And I'm gonna be going in with Gold Member from Peachy Olive Glitters with that one. And then once I have all of the glitter on there, I'm gonna go ahead and put it under my UV lamp for one minute.
Now I'm going to go ahead and put the UV resin over all of that glitter so that I can now get these parts of it all sealed up. Um, I do spend three minutes drying this, once again on the top and then each side, and then we'll be able to move on and work on the pencil tip and the eraser. And these staplers are now starting to look like pencils. So before I put the glitter on, I'm going to take this neon paint that I got from Walmart. It's just a really good hot pink. I want to make sure I get a nice base before I go putting my hot pink glitter on there. So I'm just taking a paintbrush and I'll just paint this on carefully so that I don't get any of it into the silver. Um, I'm going to let this coat dry and then I am going to go in with another coat, let that dry, and then we'll get these last bits of glitter applied. And while that second coat of paint is drying, I'm going to go ahead and get the black glitter done. So I'm just putting a little bit of my UV resin here. And you can see that I took some painter's tape and taped off the silver just to make sure that I don't have any of the black um, applied to the silver and stick to it. I want to try to keep the colors seamless. So I'm going to go in with Midnight from Chase Recreations, um, get that on both of these, get this dried for one minute, and then I'm going to go ahead and seal off all of this black and put that in for three minutes after that, and then we'll start working on the eraser. Now that my paint is all dry and it's got a great um, hot pink color to it, I'm going to go ahead and apply Lisa from Chase Ray Creations. This is my favorite hot pink glitter that I have. So I wanted it to be super vibrant and this glitter just pulls that off. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on here, let it dry for a minute, seal it, and then let that dry for three minutes. And then we'll start working with the epoxy. found this stapler holder to go on my Bowen on Etsy and I'm not sure what kind of spinner that you have but there are um, accessories out there for doing this and making it easier so I'll find where I got this from I got it a couple years ago and I'll link it in the description and it just makes it so that applying epoxy is so much easier um, you still gotta be really careful with it because it will pop off really quickly but I just wanted to go in with a quick coat of my um, KS Resin Facet Epoxy so that I can get this nice and smooth. I'm going to go ahead and let this spin for four hours and then I'll go ahead and start getting the name on there. I found this font a while back on Defont and it was called Q 
cute crayon handwriting, but I no longer find it on there. But if you put in crayon in the search on Defont, there are so many cute fonts that are on there for teachers that teach like the younger grades and that's what I wanted to go with. So here I am going in with about 5 mLs between the two staplers of my KS Resins Liquidy Split Fast Set Epoxy. I'm going to go ahead and let this spin for four hours. I'm going to sand it down really good and then I'm going to go in with another 5 mLs of my Flynn Sisters um, Artist Cure Resin and I'm gonna let that spin for eight to 10 hours and then these staplers will be ready. Now I'm gonna show you how I put them back together. So I'm taking out all of the guts for this. I'm gonna put that spring back in first. And then at the back of the stapler itself, you'll see that there's kind of like a spring and you just wanna push that off to the side, clip it in, and then you just push it down really easily. And then when you open it up, you want to push that part back in and then that's done. I did show it a second time here because I know that I go a little quickly through it. So I'm just going to push that back end off to the side, clip it down. This one wanted to take me a second to get it, but still was super easy to do. I got that locked in and then I'm going to open it up and pop that piece in and then it is all ready and these are just so cute it's such a different gift that you can give for a teacher because so many teachers nowadays get tumblers that this is just something fun and easy to make it only took me about a day to do and they're just so pretty and these teachers are going to love these for years and if you like this tutorial please hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see everybody again next week thank you so much bye bye